ahead of the 2023 general elections, the Apex Igbo Sociocultural Organization, Ohaneze Ndigo, has warned the governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Uzadema, and businessman Chief Emmanuel Iwanyawu against mortgaging the interest of the Southeast Zone in their desperation to achieve selfish ends. In a statement signed by the President General and Secretary General Chief Chidi Ibe and Mazio Kichuku Isiguzoro, the group explained that it is aware of a purported meeting of the Elders Council hold, holding and slated for Oweri and described the meeting as a desperation of few people to much gauge the collective interests of the people of Indigo ahead of the 2023 general election and impose on popular decisions on Ndibo under the auspices of Ohanese Ndibo. Ohanese Ndibo noted that Iwanya lacks the capacity to convene any meeting of the Ohanese Ndibo elders and its elders council, stressing that his tenure as chairman had long expired during the tenure of President General Chief Nnaya Huodo between 2017 and 2021. It also stated that Elders Council is an important organ of Ohaneze Ndibo and cannot be hijacked for self-purposes by desperate politicians to negotiate for vice presidential slots on behalf of the Southeast and also endorse Uzodema's military assaults on the IPOB and the Eastern Security Network. Warning that Iwanyahu's action is illegally parading himself as chairman of the Elders Council, backed by Uzodema, runs contrary to the constitution of Ohanese in Dibu. It is unbelievable and contradictory that Chief Emmanuel Iwanyahu and Governor Hope Uzadema will join forces with the detractors of Ndigo to cause confusion and betray our people to appease their pay masters. According to the constitution of Ohaneze Ndigo, the President General of Ohaneze Ndigo and Chairman of Elders Council can never come from the same state. This makes the Oweri purported meeting illegal and unacceptable to Ndigo. Elders Council meeting cannot hold their inaugural meeting outside of Enugu. Ohaneze Ndigo disowns the purported meeting. Iwanyahu may be convening. Imo State Elders Council, certainly not that of Ohaneze Ndigo. We are aware of the importance of Elders Council, but we cannot allow detractors of Ndibu to use our desperate sons to twist the election of a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction in 2023. Ndibu should ignore such desperation of Iwanyawu and his colors, cohorts. Ohaneze Ndigo further warned eminent Igbo sons to shun the meeting in order not to soil their integrity and reputation attending an illegal and already compromised meeting teleguided by the detractors of Ndigo. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The Ohaneze Ndigo has alleged of plans of Uzodima and Iwanyao to mortgage the interest of Igbos in the southeastern states for their own selfish interests at the national level, at the federal government level, because they seem to be pals and they 
seem to be running things and running the affairs of things. But however, it remains what it is. Why will they want to mortgage the uh, desires and interests of the southeastern people? Of course, it is unfair if they actually intend to do so, as that is actually wrong. But well, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. To be that as it were, there are reasons to believe that a handful of evil elders or leaders as it were are having plots or plans to hijack the evil interest and make it theirs, which is not um, good and it is not right. You know. They have to carry all the elders along and they have to make sure that everybody is carried along for the sake of equity, for the sake of transparency, and for the sake of togetherness. Because at the end of the day, it will be misinterpreted. Their actions, decisions would be misinterpreted if they do not carry other people along. Just as the Ohanese Indigo under Chidi Ibe is actually um, raising alarm right now. And that is the least, or that is what they wouldn't want. But you know, they probably would not pay attention or they wouldn't want to listen because they have their own agenda or because they have what they want to do. But it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Recall that the present Ohaneze Ndibu President General, Ambassador, George Obiozo was popularly handpicked by Chief Emmanuel Iwanyawu and Hope Uzodema and um, David Umahi, according to reports that Nambekano released. He they were he was unpicked by these particular people, these three uh, people, as it were, which a lot of people are not in support of, which has led to serious. A misunderstanding, serious issues and chaos among the the evil group. Factions have actually, you know, arise out of this group, and one would wonder why it is so. Well, it is what it is, though. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story, as it were. What are your thoughts, guys? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I, I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.